Hi there, this is Anything Arduino. Today I'm going to show you how to really minify your Arduino setup uh, for your finished product or prototype. Um, I believe it's a big misconception that uh, the Arduino concept or the Arduino concept is, is the Arduino IDE board along with the Arduino software. Uh, what most people or some people don't realize is that the Arduino is really just a form of bootloader that is loaded onto the AT Mega 328 or any other Atmel 8 8 bit AVR chip. Um, so actually, you can do like this and not try to bend the pins like I did there and this along with one other chip a 16 megahertz resonator these two chips together actually make up a whole Arduino as long as you this um, you need to have a power a good power supply of 5 volts or else this won't work um, so Given you have a, a good power source, this is all you need for the Arduino environment. So I'm going to show you how to hook up these two components uh, and I'll just show you a simple blink sketch with this to really get your uh, Arduino project down in size. So what you want to do is you want to have a lot of these lying around and a lot of these lying around. That way you will never run out of Arduinos uh, for your projects. Having a lot of these around will be quite expensive in the end. Um, so just the chips and you just change the chips as you like. So let's get down to it. So we're gonna put the Arduino on the spreadboard or sorry prototyping board and on this small one we have three pins extra here and three pins here so we're gonna put the resonator there and first we're going to connect the oscillator pins it's pin one and three of the or the two outer pins of the resonator and looking at our 80 mega 328 Arduino heat heat uh, pinout diagram it's I'll give a link in the description we see it's going to be on pin 9 and 10 so one and you always begin in the you have the half moon or the little circle uh, embossed in the in the chip that's the top left corner that's where you start counting the pins you go down and then you continue on the other side so it's 1 to 14 15 to 28 like that so we begin so 9 and 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 doesn't matter which one you put it in nine and ten it's not sensitive for that and the middle pin should be ground and ground should be pin eight so that's the pin next to it and the pin next to it then is gr uh, voltage plus we're going to need some voltage so we connect them all over here on these three free pins here we use one pin for plus one for ground and then one is actually unused uh, on the other side of the Arduino we're also going to have ground and voltage so we c uh, voltage no ground on pin 22 so 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 we connect it to ground and then we connect the other side to ground 
and one more voltage on this side number 20 there so this is actually a working Arduino but there's no way I can prove this to you without an LED so here's the LED pin 13 is pin 19 on the 80 mega so 1 2 no 15 16 17 18 19 and ground we have ground quite close there so there now all we need is power and unfortunately from a educational point of view I'm, go I'm going to use an Arduino which is a bad thing because then may some of you might think I'm cheating but you see there's no chip here and we're only using the 5 volts and ground that's it that we're taking from this it's just because I don't have another power supply lying around right now so plus and ground and we have our blink sketch going so uh, that's how easy it is to uh, minify the Arduino or make a really 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 bare bone or bare board whatever term you use Arduino so this is uh, one of the ways I use to to not have having to buy as many of these as possible these are quite expensive uh, and just buying the chips like this along with just a resonator is quite cheap and uh, as I said before you have a lot of these lying around and you just plug them into your Arduino IDE you program them you take them out and you use them in your projects I'll just quickly show you I have two projects here uh, the Arduino Cylon Scanner or Larson Scanner uh, there's an old tutorial I made it's made like this you have the 80 mega 328 and you have the resonator and then some LEDs and there's nothing else it's just power in there same with this one um, this is an Arduino controlled uh, gimbal or stabilizer I'm working on a work in progress <laughs> um, maybe I'll get back to this one someday uh, and tell you more about it uh, so here's uh, here's the um, the Arduino the resonator and then I have an accelerometer for the stabilizing stuff and two servos so except for the parts that I really need for this project um, here's once again only the Arduino and the resonator and this one uh, has power in there and actually uh, it this one runs on 3.3 volts uh, from the from the quadcopter that it's supposed to be hanging on but as I said some other time please subscribe uh, next week I'm going or next episode I don't know when that's gonna be I'm going to do one more minifying video and that's going into an 80 tiny 85 so making it even smaller for those really tiny projects until then take care bye